Hi guys, Nick here from Firefly Studios. Today we're going to be running through your questions and comments related to Stronghold Next, revealing everything we can without spoiling too much of the gameplay reveal planned later this year. We've taken a look at your comments on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit and probably other places trying to figure out what you're most interested in about the game and what we can reveal at this stage. So without further ado, let's run through 13 things you need to know about Stronghold Next. As much as I hate to disappoint you Game of Thrones fans out there, I can confirm today that Stronghold Next will not be a Stronghold Legends sequel set in the realm of wizards and wyverns. In fact, there will be no fantasy elements whatsoever in the game, with all siege equipment, characters and units drawn from or inspired by historical fact. So unfortunately, no Stronghold Legends 2 for the time being. Sorry Volpa. Perhaps the biggest piece of news we're reviewing today is that the next Stronghold will take place in an all new setting, one we've never tackled before but always wanted to. So while we may return to the Crusades or the realms of Arthurian legend at some point in the future, right now we're focused on a completely new setting. This new backdrop for the series is ripe for bringing in exciting new siege equipment, some interesting historical figures and a wide variety of units. It's a new horizon for us and we're really looking forward to how it's going to change up the Stronghold formula. Speaking of mixing things up, we can also say that Stronghold Next will include a unique new mechanic which could change the way you wage war across the battlefield. As an evolution of the core gameplay, this new mechanic will be familiar enough to existing players that it will be quick to pick up, but tough to master. For those of you completely new to Stronghold, it will bring something fresh to the RTS genre that will make you feel like a true warlord. Don't fret, Carl. While we are introducing some changes in the form of a new setting and some gameplay tweaks, we will also be bringing back some old fan favourite units. So while you can expect new soldier types to command around the battlefield, several classics will also be making their long-awaited return, soling in nicely with the new guard. The goal with each unit selected for this new stronghold is to create interesting tactical options and thrilling castle sieges, and we can't wait to see what you do with them. Just in case you were wondering, it's not actually called Stronghold Next, that was just a working title, like a temporary, you know, while well, we worked out the design and just don't search Stronghold Next in Steam, search for the actual title, otherwise, what am I doing with my hand? <laughs> While you've been discussing online what Stronghold could look and play like, we have been listening. Firefly has been combing through the comment sections, forums, fan videos, and even the Stronghold subreddit to figure out what you want most from the next Stronghold game and what we can deliver with this title. So where possible, we'll be bringing back as many classic units, features, and little touches as possible that really make Stronghold, Stronghold. That's right, Kaz. Stronghold Next will indeed be a full PC title, loaded with single and multiplayer modes, including the beloved Skirmish. Our next Stronghold game will not be a free-to-play title, and we will be releasing it on Steam when it's ready. We'll also be releasing lots of extra content and updates in the year after release. After the more fast-paced RTS combat of Crusader, our new title will focus more on the economic gameplay found in titles like Stronghold 2. While you'll still have thrilling castle sieges with a variety of troop types and new siege equipment, our aim is to go back to the more sort of economic management style gameplay of the previous titles. Essentially, we want you paying as much attention to the process of designing, building and running your castle as on the process of just destroying someone else's. But don't worry, there's no mention of Gong in the design doc. We mean it when we say we're about historical realism here at Firefly, and loot boxes simply didn't exist in the feudal era. Since this comment looks like it was written by Jack from The Shining, Let me just pull you back to reality and say that Stronghold Next will not be an MMO in any capacity. The game will have multiplayer and skirmish with the ability to play with friends against AI, but it won't have any level caps, mounts, or overexcited guild members. Alright, oh, thumbs up! Ready, guys, Let's or... do this! Leroy Dragons! Oh my god, he just ran in. Just for you, Stormy Slade, this is a new entry in the Stronghold series, which means you'll get your high quality textures in addition to other visual upgrades expected for a new game. We've been hard at work on new in-game assets for some time now, which means your castles, troops, and peasants will look better than ever, with some added flavor thanks to the new setting. Rest assured, Craig, Stronghold Next will not be a Flash game. Although I'm pretty sure Flash doesn't work anymore, so it would need to be a HTML5 game. The more you know. Um, knowledge. Considering the current marketplace, we thought we'd just delay some fears that we're not going to be jumping on the Battle Royale bandwagon with Stronghold Next. It's not going to be a BR game. However, if we do get to 500 likes on this video, I will do whatever Fortnite dance you want me to.
So there you have it. That was 13 things you need to know about Stronghold Next. We hope that's enough to tide you over until our full gameplay reveal later this year. If not, don't worry, as we'll be releasing more information and videos on Stronghold Next in the coming months, including our full gameplay reveal. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube for more information about Stronghold Next and hit that little notification bell to find out immediately about any news related to our next Stronghold game.